So today I'm going to be showing you guys the process that I went through in customizing a Hot Wheel into a Wide Body 86. So for today's occasion I'm using my Dremel Turner series which I purchased at Bunnings for around $75. Today I'm using a bigger bit just to make sure that I can drill into the Hot Wheel more easily. Just twist this top off, put it in and secure it. I'm drilling these two middle holders at the bottom because they're holding the Hot Wheel intact and in order to paint strip I need to take it apart. There's two modes but make sure you go on high. Once you finish drilling, you should just be able to pop it out and pop out the window too, just to make sure that you have the bare middle body to paint strip. This is poly paint stripper which I bought from Bunnings for around $8 and a brush that I got from the dollar store. Make sure for this part wear gloves because the paint stripper is toxic. All I gotta do for the next part is pat the paint stripper onto the surface. Next step I use the toothpick just to scrape it off and oh my god, that is so satisfying. Once you're done, it should look like this. And don't worry, you can just wash it off later. Me stripping the inside of the car was totally optional, but I decided to do it anyway because I wanted a cleaner look. Once I finished paint stripping the Hot Wheel, I decided to go in with a metal tool just to scrape off the excess paint that didn't get removed earlier. This is really important because if you paint later on with the spray paint, with these marks still available, there will be bumps. I use this metal tool, but a toothpick will work just fine. Be careful not to make deep scratches in the middle, as this will show later when we paint. Once it's done, you should have a clean metal body. The next thing that I did was use this plastic nail brush to clean off any debris that was left on the body. This also ensures a very clean body to work with when we are painting. This next step is completely optional, but the car that I was replicating had a different set of wheels to the original Hot Wheels, so I'm going to be drilling these out to replace them. I'm using a Dremel and doing the exact same thing as before. They should just pop off the same way. I'm just going to be using the Dremel again to drill out this middle bit to let go of the wheels. Make sure to be gentle with this because you don't want to burn the axle. And that's it for episode 1 guys, I'll see you in the next episode.